Hi, welcome to my house. I'm Rachel Davison, and these are my daughters, Heidi, Jane, Anna, and Emily. And today we're gonna to show you one of our favorite ways to eat strawberries, wrapped up in warm crepes. So it's a very simple recipe, and it's a perfect vehicle to get more strawberries into your diet. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna wash some strawberries. We're just gonna quarter them and, and put them in this bowl. So let's start by giving them a little rinse. What we need to do is we need to take, just watch mom first, okay? We're gonna take the green part off, pull the strawberry, and then I'm just gonna quarter it. If you prefer, you can slice it. I like quarters, bigger pieces. Put it in our bowl. Just going to want to cut up, there's no measurement for the strawberries, just whatever you think your family is going to eat uh, with, with your crepes for your breakfast or your lunch or brunch, however you're eating them. So once you've got your strawberries all cut up, I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of sugar on them and that's going to pull out the juices while we make our crepes. You don't have to do that, but I like it when there's a little bit of juice in them. Give it a little mix. You don't need tons, fresh strawberries are very sweet on their own. but. Good. All right, to make our crepe batter, I'm gonna use my blender. If you'd rather use a food processor or even a whisk, that does work, uh, but you want it to be mixed really well, so I'm gonna use a blender. When you're using a blender, you always put your liquid ingredients in first. So we're gonna start with one and three quarter cups of milk. So Heidi, can you dump that in there? There we go. And then we need three eggs. Yep, that's good. Now find the crack and then just pull, open it up. Awesome. That's one. Good. <laughs> yeah, put your thumbs in where it's cracked and open it up like a door. Good. Good. Good, so we've got in milk, we've got our eggs. Now we're gonna let Jane add our flour. Ready? Up. And a half. One and a half cups of flour. Ready? We have half a teaspoon of salt. Yep. Good. That's it. Good. So now our batter's made, we're gonna turn the oven on. You, wanna, you don't wanna go over medium heat with a frying pan, but you do want your frying pan to be nice and hot for crepes. So I'm gonna turn it on to medium, to medium heat halfway. And I'm just gonna, for the first crepe, I'm just gonna smear a little bit of butter in the pan or margarine, whichever, just so that that first one doesn't stick. That'll be good. Now you need it to be nice and hot before you pour your first one in. So while this is heating up, I'm also going to put the oven on uh, just, to, just to warm so that every time I'm done making a crepe I can put it onto a pl covered plate in the oven and that way I, we can all sit down as a family and eat our crepes together. So I'm just going to test if my pan is hot and a really simple way to do that is just to put a little bit of water on your fingers. So let me just get a bit of water and I'm just going to sprinkle it into the pan so you can hear it sizzling. So I think it's going to be good. So what you do when you're making crepes is you're gonna pour some batter right into the middle of your pan and then before it's cooked, you're just gonna just move your pan around like this and you make it the size you want. This is an extremely large frying pan, so I'm not gonna go right to the edges. That's gonna be about right. It's gonna be, it doesn't take too long to bake, a, to cook a crepe. So um, I'm just gonna give it one more second here and then let's, let's give it a flip. There we go. It doesn't even have to be very brown. It can be slightly browner than that, but if it's too brown, it's gonna get crunchy and you don't really want crunchy crepes. You want them to roll up really nicely so you can fold in your strawberries and your whipped cream. That's gonna be about that. It's perfect. So I just have it at 170 degrees here just to keep it warm. I'm gonna put it on a serving plate with a lid that's not gonna stick to it. So just a dome lid and that'll fit nicely. You can just stack them up in there. When the edges start to curl like this, uh, that's a good sign that your crepe's ready to flip. Also, there's bubbles in the middle and nothing looks like raw batter anymore. So it's definitely ready to flip. Perfect. And once your pan is hot and you're in the swing of things, it only takes a few seconds to cook your crepe. So this one's gonna be done, especially for the second side. 
to assemble our crepes, I am gonna put, start with strawberries. That's the important part, in my mind anyway. Put as many in there as you think you can fold. And I am gonna put some whipped cream in there because who doesn't like whipped cream? And then I'm gonna fold it up. I usually use my fork and I just kinda, kinda wrap it around. Pull it tight, kinda like a taco. Just like that. And then I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of maple syrup on top. And there you have a great springtime treat, strawberry filled crepes. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more videos.